we're building three platforms. Uh, the first is uh, Copilot. Uh, to us, you should think of Copilot as the UI for AI. That's the simplest way I think of it. Uh, we then have uh, the Copilot and AI stack. So to be able to, for you to build your own AIs and AI agents uh, and Copilots, we have a full uh, stack. And then lastly, this new set of devices, which are these Copilot devices. So, um, I want to talk about each of these platforms, starting with Copilot. It's just a couple of, a month ago, we launched something called Pages. Just like, say, back in the day in the 90s, we launched Excel or you know, Word, uh, which were you know, basically editors to create new artifacts. Pages is the first, I would say, user experience to create new AI-first artifacts. Right? I can search the web or my work for retrieving information. Um, and then I can put it into pages, and it's a document for, It's a document that I can then share across the organization, and I can work with AI and humans. In fact, I sort of say the metaphor I use is I think with AI and work with my colleagues at work. Right? That's the new workflow. What you is, can extend Copilot with any agent you build. In fact, Copilot Studio is a low-code, no-code way for you to be able to build agents. Um, and, and these agents are really grounded in a rich set of data sources, starting with, in fact, the most important database in most organizations is the database that contains all your office information, right? Who works for whom? Who, who are my colleagues on this project? What documents are there uh, related to a particular team or a project? Uh, what is the relationships between all of these documents and people and projects? All of that and all the emails you've had, teams conversations you've had, that's all in fact in a first class database called the graph or the substrate that is now exposed through a graph uh, in M365. You combine that with even Dataverse, which is all the business process data, data that you may have collected into something like Fabric, all that's available for these agents. This has been tremendous. In fact, right at Microsoft, if I look at it, um, we, if you take functions like, let's say, sales and marketing, we are now got, have quantitative results which are double-digit increases uh, in throughput effective. So, so we now have at-scale evidence of how these tools are fundamentally changing, I would sort of say, increasing value and reducing waste. The exciting thing for us is that we are making the announcement uh, with the government of the United Kingdom uh, to really ensure that this diffusion of tech happens not just in the private sector, but happens across the public sector. Because I'm very, very pleased to announce today, uh, for the first time, that we are taking the next big step in the AI platform with the announcement around autonomous agents that you can create. In fact, today, uh, you will see us both make announcements around tools uh, that are going to help create these autonomous agents, uh, but more importantly, the agents themselves that we are building for products like Dynamics 365, uh, which ultimately can dock to uh, something like Copilot when it needs a UI for human connection, uh, but also can stand alone. And I want to move to the next platform, which is the Copilot Plus agent stack or the AI platform. And it starts with having the widest, broadest footprint of raw infrastructure. And we're doing a lot to make sure that this infrastructure is optimized for AI workloads, right? Starting right from silicon, whether it's the work we're doing with NVIDIA, working with AMD, and so we have fantastic partnerships uh, on the silicon layer. We are ourselves building a very first class, I'll call it cloud native infrastructure, data infrastructure for everything from OLTP, whether it's Cosmos DB, whether it's SQL, or whether it's Postgres, or Fabric, which is a first-class analytics uh, database built for the AI era. In fact, ChatGPT, by the way, is one of the biggest customers or users of something like uh, Cosmos DB, for example, uh, or Azure Search uh, as another example. So it just shows you, like, once you sort of build an application uh, like Copilot or ChatGPT, uh, you need the data estate uh, to be robust. Uh, we are also building an app server. So if you have, you have infra, you have data, then you have to have an application server. In fact, with O1, 
coming to GPD uh, uh, or rather to GitHub Copilot, uh, you can sort of use AI uh, to do the next level of optimization. I think what you have on the slides, uh, you know, uh, behind me is the auto encoder we use for GitHub Copilot is being optimized by O1. So, so I want to then move to the last platform, which is the Copilot devices. Copilot Plus PCs, we just launched a little over half a year ago. Uh, we're very excited about what this means. This ushers in a complete new era, right, where you have the CPU, the GPU, and an NPU all available at the edge. Because if you think about it, up to now, the scaling laws have worked and worked super well in the cloud. But it's one of the exciting things for those of you who are gamers is going to be when you have your GPU in full tilt and then you have all your NPU left for you know, all the vector operations. That's sort of the type of application development uh, that is you know, coming to life. Uh, and it's just going to be a, a new platform, just like how people build novel new applications uh, for the PC with the GPU. You're going to start seeing now people build for essentially what is going to be an NPU plus GPU plus CPU world. So I just want to close out by talking about uh, what perhaps underlies all these three platforms which I think is very critical, uh, which is trustworthy AI and trustworthy privacy and trustworthy security. Because trust in the technology ultimately is going to be core to all of the diffusion I talked about. Uh, because if you don't trust it, you're not going to use it, and that's not going to be any good for anyone. Thank you all very, very much.